Brown's family, Young at Heart. Smell of the graveyard. Once here we got a beneath our family tree to honor the great cycle of life and death. Come every member of our clan, leaving, dead, or undecided, and let us celebrate what it is to be honored. Come to me, my beautiful wife. Oh, she has skin so pale, eyes so black, hair so long, and tell us what it is. Darkness and grief, and unspeakable sorrow. I never put it down. When you're an at home, you need to have a bit of moonlight. When you're an at home, you need to be a little chill. You'll have to see the world in shades of gray. You'll have to put some poison. That's the way when you're an adult. You need to have a sense of humor. Ha 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 ha. When you're an adult, you need to have a taste for death. Who cares about the world outside and what it wants from you? When you're an adult, you do what I'm doing to do. Me and more. We love you forever and ever. We love you. Stop the beach. Just for us. Night we first. Date. You took me to see that of a sales. How we laughed. When you're an adult, you have a blood of passion. When you're an adult, you need to really love your wife. You're, you're happy, happy when, when your toes are in the mud. You'll spot a bit the moment you smell blood. The switch and wait till things get hot. When you're an adult, you have to really stir the hot. So give us shadows and give us gloom. Broken glass in a motel room. Something fun we can all assume and give it all tonight. And now, we're some of our beloved ancestors. How do I do this? By dancing on their grave. Just stop my brother festa. Time to wake the dead.
until next year, my beloved ancestors. Back to your crypt. Hey, it's locked. That's right, we have a problem. His name is Lucas, Lucas Beinecke, and I'm in love. That's right. Little Wednesday Adams, that charming, irrepressible bundle of malice who had poisoned her own brother just for riding the ambulance, has grown up and found love. So, here's the deal. Gather round, gather round. I'm not letting you back into that crib until love triumphs. Ah, uh, as Wednesday's uncle, it is my job to make sure she gets to enjoy the misery of love. So, who is this Luca fella? Is he worthy of her? Do they really know we love, know each other? What is love anyways? Does this rash look serious to you? So many questions about love, but when you think about it, is there anything more important? Let's not talk about anything else but love. than gold is this blessing we call friendship whether new or very old good delicious who talks like this the bind keys wednesday's friend lucas and his parents they're coming for dinner tonight lucas yes but lucas is a boy's name yes wednesday has a friend who is a boy it's nothing darling puppy love put these in water mom dad i shot dinner oh wednesday that's lovely wherever did you find it Petting zoo. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Come, Lurch. Guess for dinner. Fresh meat. <laughs> Daddy, I have something very important to tell you. What? Can you keep a secret? Of course. Oh, Daddy, Lucas wants to marry me. What? Lucas Beinecke loves me, and he wants to marry me. And I think I want to marry him. Think? Well, I've never met his parents before, and he's never met mine, and I just need to make sure that the families can get along. What are you saying? I'm saying we're who we are, and they're from Ohio. That's a swing state. <laughs> You're right. This is important. Let's go tell your mother. No, Daddy, please. She'll ask a lot of embarrassing questions and wreck the whole thing. You don't want me to tell your mother you're getting married? After dinner, if we're all friends, then we'll tell her. But I've never kept anything from your mother. Please, Daddy, one tiny little secret. Please, please. Okay, okay, I promise I won't tell your mother. Thank you, Daddy. Our little secret, right? Yes, yes, all of the secret. Wednesday you're growing up so quickly, you'll be Thursday before I know it. Now run along. What's wrong with Wednesday? What do you mean? She's smiling like this. Maybe it is this boy. This boy? Don't be silly. Ha! I say endeavor. Ha! 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 Yes, but what if... And I have no reason to say this, but what if she did meet someone who stole her heart? Don't be silly. When that happens, I'll be the first to know. Wednesday tells me everything. Just like you do. Gomez, you do tell me everything, don't you? Of course. I think Wednesday and I should have a little chat.
Do it again, do it again. Ah! Is this Lucas guy still coming to dinner tonight? Yes. Hope Pugsley ever sounds like metal and I'll laugh and cry and everything seems right and wrong at the same time. Then sometimes I just want to kiss him till he's dead. I don't have a sunny disposition. I'm not known for being too amused. My demeanor's locked in one position. See my face. I'm enthused. Suddenly, however, I've been puzzled. Bunny rabbits make me want to cry. All my intuitions have been muzzled. And I think I know why. I'm being pulled in a new direction. I think I like it. I think I like it. Two. 
his tongue. He talks like this. Thank you, Mother. Hi, I'm Wednesday. What are you wearing? A dress. Paloma, what happened? You look like a crime scene. Will you excuse us for a moment? I won't have that color in my house. I'm just trying to act normal, okay? Darling, we don't wear bright colors. Bright colors are for people with no inner life and no imagination. Oh, look, it's everywhere. It's a lovely dress, Wednesday. 
Yellow is the color of the warming sun. Yellow is the color of yumminess and fun. Why not show the world the love in which we all believe? Why not wear your heart for all to see right on your sleeve? Yellow is... Excellent. Yellow. A lovely sentiment about the color yellow. And do I look everyone? It's Pugsley Adams. Wednesday's brother. Say hello, Pugsley. Hello, would you like to make a donation? Of course, sweetheart. What are you collecting for? Put the money in the can and no get her. <laughs> Woo! Boy, is it normal out there. And this is our dear little grandma, the very soul and spirit of the family. Hi, I just came back from the hospital. Cardiac ward, they're dropping like flies out there. I hope you're staying in shape. Great. Fresh fruits? 40 minutes on the treadmill? I know I should, but I don't do any of that. Well then, you're gonna die, honey. Are you ready for some football? This is my brother, Fester. He throws it, he catches it, he's at the 25, he jukes for me, he's at the 10, and touchdown, Fester! Saying goodbye. Goodbye. And now for a welcoming toast from the extensive Adams Game. You realize you're gonna freak when you tell him. My father won't. I already told him. I thought we we're gonna tell him all together. We need his help. You don't know my mother. She could really screw this up. It might seem old fashioned, but I want their blessing. You're right. It's just old-fashioned. Lucas, do you love me? Of course, you're the craziest girl I ever met. You say it like it's a bad thing. Shh, they're coming. Children, you're excused. Lucas, let's go. Dad, remember? Leave the door open, you hear? They seem very fond of each other, no? Yeah, but it's not like they're getting married. Married? Of course not. Morticia, a grand tour for the Mrs. Denton. And after dinner, the game. Oh, yeah? Did you ever... What kind of game? Did you ever play charades? Yes. Well, it's nothing like that. Come on, Mom. Let me show you the mod. Did you bring your bathing suit? Did you get the flowers? Oh, yes. And the lovely poem. Wherever did you find it? I wrote it. No. When I'm depressed or feeling blessed, a poem will get it off my chest. They come to me. They take no time. They just pop out and always rhyme. Maybe you should see someone about that. And they're always about the one thing everyone needs, but so few have. Health care. Why, love, of course. her other head. She has two heads? Well, you know what they say. <laughs> oh, is that your wedding? Oh, yes. I still remember our wedding vows. That is so romantic. We promised to tell each other everything. Everything? Of course. Boy, it sure doesn't work that way in our house. How does it work? Well, what's good for a gander is a nice quiet goose. If I told Mal my secrets, all heck would break loose. Alice, I am shocked. What kind of a marriage is it where you keep secrets? A long one. Be patient, and soon the way will be clear. Focus your fear, and troubles all will disappear. Let's not talk about anything.
Someone that grows up. Maybe a writer or a medical examiner. A medical examiner? Why? You look inside people's bodies and mind because they're dead. Where did you find them? We found each other. It's kind of a miracle. Go, Mez. Oh my god, Daddy! What are we gonna do? Let's just tell her it's gonna be fine. No, Daddy, you promised after dinner. What were the three of you whispering about? The Go on, Earth! Did you me? Well, we'll be going now. See you Come at dinner. I show you the one. Did you ever see a rat as big as a wiener dog? No, sir. Go, Mez. What's going on? Nothing. We're just talking. That was not talking. That was conspiring. You're keeping something from me. May lightning strike me where I stand if I'm keeping anything from you now. <laughs> that it should come to this. I'll be in my room until you're ready to share. Like a proper husband. Morticia mia! What if she doesn't dance with me anymore? Who could conceive it? What if I, in one tiny lie, started civil war? What if the lines been crossed in vows of commitment lost? How is that possible? Could that be possible? What if they hate each other? What if they don't? Be like me. Look on the bright side. I love you like crazy ones at Adams. Whoa, she's crazy, all right. Hugsley, stop sneaking around like that. It's my house too, okay. Excuse me while I kill my brother. I got this. Hey, it's the Parkster. What up, little man? You trying to be cool? Uh-huh. Because you're not cool. Your sister thinks I am. She'll get over it. Okay, we'll be going now. Can I come? Sorry, Pugs. I'm with Lucas now. Bye. But wait, wait. tortures me anymore. How would I manage? What if she never nails my tongue to the bathroom floor? What if she walks away, leaving me a-okay, hiding each power to Why would she be so cruel? Quit texting and pick up a book for once in your life. Quit whining about your sister. Start 
thinking about you and how you're gonna live your life. Time, my dear, is a thief. It'll steal your soul and flee in little fairy wings. Now stay in my stuff or I'll rip your leg off and bury in the backyard! I love you. Wednesday we'll drink and then she'll be her Another magnificent feast, all thanks to my fabulous lady wife, from whom I kept nothing. Thank you, dear. And now it's time to play the game. What kind of game? Full disclosure. Everyone sips from the sacred family chalice. And confesses a secret they've never told anyone. And you have to absolutely tell the truth. I don't think I'd be very good at that game. Sure you would. And now, Gomez will break the ice. My husband has something he needs to disclose. No, no, the host goes last. Lurch, the sacred chalice. This is the sacred Adam's family chalice. Drink from it and your greatest secrets will be revealed. Full disclosure is a game that we play. Let your darkest secrets give you away. Face your demons and happily say, I'm playing full disclosure. It's all these crazy happy people. children. A humble man who treasured his wife and worshipped the very ground she walked on. Thank you. And everyone lived happily ever after. Full disclosure. Well, we'll just have to come back to you then, won't we? Yes, let's hear from Fester. The chalice? <sighs> I, I am in love. The moon. The moon? He's in love with the moon? Yeah, that's normal. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Oh, I haven't told her yet. Aww. Full disclosure. Jealous. First, I apologize. 
apologize for being late for dinner. You know those bladder issues. <laughs> the kid and I had a little heart to heart before. I told him to use his charm wisely. But look who's talking. I'm 102. How much time do I have left? I have shingles and arthritis. And when I break wind, <laughs> it can start the windmills and know it does pain. But I still got to one more round in me. Full disclose. Full disclose. I just pee. <laughs> Janitorial! This happened last time. <laughs> I didn't go enough, I guess. To get... We should have put you down years ago. <sighs> All right, Wednesday's turn. Not yet. Daddy, talk to her. Wednesday, your turn. The chalice, please. Where's the chalice? Yes, now with the dash of potion, my sister pool. Hopefully in slow motion, she'll drop, she'll drool. One sip of acrimonium, then she will change. Boy, oh boy, her full disclosure's gonna be strange. Full disclosure, it's the moment of truth. La 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 la. Now you better hit the tooth like paper. La 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 la. This is torture like an infected tooth. Raise your voice. inside my face. Boy, that doesn't even rhyme. Are you okay? Well, as you can see, my wife isn't being quite herself, so we'll be on our way. No, I want to stay. I was just starting to enjoy myself. You got a problem with that? I did not raise my son to date a girl whose family is a bunch of creeped out weirdos. Oh, Mal, he's in love. Let him follow his heart. Follow his heart? That's crazy. What's wrong with crazy? Crazy's underrated. You used to be crazy about me. Let me get this straight. Your son, your only son, is in love with a girl named after a day of the week who runs around Center Park with a crossbow, and you're okay with that? If it makes him happy, yes. Well, you better come to your senses or I'll be taking steps. Good idea. Why don't you start by taking steps outside? Full disclosure, I'm done with you being the boss of this family. I'm running things now. <gasps> That's too dark even for us! Full disclosure! But our story was good. We're talking to the mill with fear and nothing up to the brim. That's why the brim. Just imagine being married to him. Okay, Adams, I've tried, but you people are insane. You have a house where there shouldn't be a house, a zombie for a butler, and a man who's dating the moon. Oh, I wouldn't say we're dating. Full disclosure, we're leaving. Lucas, help your mother down. You were right, Lucas. Right about what? Thanks anyways, Daddy. Thanks for what? We should have just told her. Told me what? It, it doesn't matter. Lucas and I love each other, and we're getting married. What? That's what you kept from me? No secrets, huh? <laughs> delicious drama. What happens now? Can this be repaired? Or do we all leave in 30 minutes feeling vaguely depressed? Things are upside down. That's what happens when you play. Oh, to be 